you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite girl i'm angelina and i'm here with yet another video for you guys before we get into this video don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it don't forget to subscribe share this video and cut on those post notifications it's also very important that you guys start following me on instagram because i will be going live on instagram very frequently so i do want you guys to participate in those instagram lives as well so definitely make sure you open the description box check out what's in there and also follow me on my different social media sites as well but really quickly, as you guys know, the end of the year is approaching. The holiday season is approaching very quickly. And I know my young bosses out there or my new entrepreneurs out there don't exactly know how to prepare for the holiday sales season. Because this is the season where many, many entrepreneurs that have e-commerce stores or online stores, boutiques, shoe stores, uh, hair companies, anything that requires selling online or even at a brick and mortar business, this time of the year is when they have their most sales. So what I decided to do is I wanted to drop like a, a little video for you guys so that you guys can have an idea of the type of sale that you wanted. And how I gathered all this information, as you guys know, I do own a hair, I do own a hair company by the name of Lord96 and I do own a brand by the name ImaniJelena.co. So I do have frequent sales on my products and things like that. And uh, since I've been in business for three years now, I have participated in three end of year sales. And when I say end of year sales, I'm talking Black Friday sales, I'm talking Thanksgiving sales, I'm talking Christmas sales, New Year's Eve sales, and also going into the New Year sales. So with this being said, I've got a lot, I've retained a lot of information about what works, what doesn't work, and things like that. So I just wanted to give you guys these quick little tips and tricks that you guys can think about bringing over or doing for your business. But the last quick thing that I do want to get into before I jump into those tips and tricks, I am currently having a little sale on my web design right now. So if you guys are interested in getting a website through me, instead of paying oh, $300 for a website, I am doing websites for $75 for just this week alone. So whoever signs up for a website, you will get a major, major discount. The retail price for web design would only be $75. I'll leave the link below so you can read up on it, see exactly what it comes with see how long the time frame is that you should be expecting to receive your website and all that good stuff but that is just something that I wanted to notify you guys about okay so the first thing that I do want to tell you guys regarding creating sales or we're just gonna we're just gonna narrow it down creating your Black Friday sales you want to figure out what your competitors are doing this is major okay you want to figure out what exactly your competitors have going for themselves during this, this, the sales season. Now, some black some companies like myself don't release sales up until maybe a few days ahead of time. And there's a reason because there's a reason for that. And the reason is because you don't want everyone to know about, you don't want everyone regarding other businesses to know about these sales, especially if you feel as though you're, you may be in competition with some of these businesses, just because you don't want them to be able to one, one up you, if that makes sense. So that's number one, finding out who your competition, finding out who your competition is, seeing if they like posted some things online, um, regarding what they're doing. And then once you figure out what they're doing, see if you can kind of make your sale a little bit better. And you don't have to like blow their sale away, but just see if you can make yours just a little bit better than theirs, if you personally feel like they're a competitor. An example that I want to give regarding that, it's the same thing that let's say Target and Walmart does. Walmart wants people to come out and shop with them as well as Target. If Target came out and was like, hey Walmart, we're doing these sales for Black Friday, do you not think Walmart would try to one-up them somehow? So just think of it that way. As I was editing this video, I actually went in and did a little research on Walmart and Target. And Target actually released their deals November 1st. Walmart then released their deals November 16th. And that is why currently you see Walmart ads all over the place and people are hyped up to actually shop with Walmart because Walmart had so much time to look over Target's ads and create better deals. It's all a business, it's all a scheme. It's just to get sales. Uh, the next thing that I want to tell you guys is when you are creating sales, you're not creating sales to lose money, 
okay? And, and something that I want you guys to remember, when you are creating sales and you're dropping 20% off or you're dropping $50 discounts and $20 discounts, you guys need to remember that that's coming out of your pocket. So if your business cannot take a $20 loss on each order or a $50 loss on each order or a $100 loss on each order, that is not a sale that is beneficial to you in your business unless you are pr projected to make at least four to six times the amount of orders than you would normally make just because you would be generating that money back. Because I see a lot of business owners just have these sales, thinking it's just gonna, gonna draw in all these people. You end up or only having four to five sales and you ultimately end up losing out on money. That is not something that we want to do. We want to think smarter and not think harder. So what I'm gonna talk about now is some sale ideas to give you guys. The, the first year uh, when I had a Black Friday sale, something that I did, that was pretty cool. That was cool and I had the income to do it. My first year I gave away closures. And the first, I believe it was like 20 customers. Anyone who placed an order got free a free closure with their order. That was a cool turnaround. That was an awesome sale that I had. Uh, the second year, I believe I had like a 30% discount. If you are a new business owner, some ways that I would suggest when creating your sales, it's especially if you're on a tight budget as well, because most of us are, you know, it happens. Try to not go over 20% discounts because you're gonna lose out on a lot of profit that way. So if you can stay under 20% discounts, you're moving in a good direction. Or you can do things like having free shipping. You can get a 10% off and then offer free shipping because shipping isn't really that expensive. Those are two ways that you can incorporate Black Friday sales to your company. If you, if you offer different miscellaneous things within your company, you can offer those things up as your Black Friday gifts. So you can say like, hey, if you order two bundles or if you order a wig, you'll get two gifts sent to you. And those could be whatever additional things that you're offering within your business, such as lashes, such as um, other discount codes, such as free shipping and lashes. Like you you can mix it up. And I don't want you guys to think that, oh my gosh, I have to have this amazing 50% off sale in order to generate customers. You don't. It's all about how you market it. You can literally have a 5% discount sale. As long as you market it correctly, you're going to generate customers or rather traffic to your business. So it's all about, it's not about what you're doing, it's how you're proposing this to your audience. Uh, the last few things that I'm going to give you regarding some options that you can use regarding your Black Friday sales. If, and this is and these options are going to be for someone who like really wants to like wow their customers you can do something along the lines of everything is like a flat rate so no matter what three bundles you get or uh, no matter what two bundles you get it's a flat rate of X y and Z so you're not so your customer is is literally paying a hundred dollars for two bundles no matter what the lengths are or two hundred and fifty dollars for three bundles no matter what the lengths are those are pretty cool cool ways to um, get customers' attention, especially in the hair world, because not a lot of people do that. Uh, if you look at the hair company, Kendra's Hair Boutique, for a, I'm not sure if they do it now, but for a long time they were doing that. Make sure you go over your profit logs, profit loss logs very well when you're coming up with these numbers to make sure you're not losing a tremendous amount of money. But if you can accurately come up with the price structure, for your Black Friday sale accurately, you can honestly make a decent amount of money, especially if you can get your shipment from your vendor at a discounted rate if you're ordering like a large stock. So it's a lot of different ways you can go about doing something like that. Another way you can really wow your customers is if you throw in a bundle for free. Just It's similar to what I mentioned at first when I was doing a closure for free. Closures are a lot cheaper than bundles, so I would say with the closures if you're going to do something like this but if you want to wow them you can always have your customers it's like buy two get one free type of thing <clears throat> or buy one get one free if you order a bundle you get a bundle at the end of the day i would leave like some fine print at the bottom if you do decide to do it do something like that um you being the business owner you get to to innocence pick the length so let's say a customer ordered 
a 16 and an 18 inch. They would have to pay for the longer length, but then you'll give them the shorter option. Um, and then the last thing that I'm going to tell you guys, something that does generate a lot of uh, a lot of traffic is when you put urgency on things. If you let it be known, there's only 20 customers that these uh, sales are up for grabs for. Your, your customers will literally be waiting at their phone, on their mobile device, tablet, computer, whatever it is, at 12 o'clock ready to ready to log on to your website in order to purchase so that is also another way that you can kind of like trigger your customers into purchasing early and then by that point you've sold out of everything and it's not even 10 a.m you get what i'm saying because everything dropped at 12 a.m on black friday so i mean there's a lot of different ways that you can do it i hope these tips and tricks definitely helped you guys i hope it works for you guys let me know in the description box don't forget to like this video don't forget the sale that i am having on my website for those of you who need a website or also just ready to start everything for the new year and get everything going COVID is, is it's, <laughs> it's on the rise again. So this is a perfect time to start your business if you haven't already. So let's make the proper steps. Let's utilize these sales. And if you guys have any questions for me, all of my information is in the description box to reach me. I love, love, love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.